Everybody bring in a famous person and then share three fascinating facts about them. We're going to go to Mike D first because this was Mike D's idea. Mike D, what celebrity did you bring? I have Mr. Beast. I love Mr. That's Beast. That's what this was about, Mr. Beast from YouTube. Yeah, he just hit 200 million subscribers on YouTube, the first ever to do it. Wow. Can you picture Mr. Beast in your head? No. What he looks like? Don't yeah. know he doesn't like. look like a Mr. Beast. He's like a youngish guy with like a mustache and a little kind of goatee type thing, right? Yeah. He doesn't look like a beast. <laughs> That's what you think he'd look like. He looks like Mr. Generic, but he's also like, he seems nice. Like I, said, I think I like him. Yeah, he's a cool dude. So tell me three things about Mr. Beast. So the first ever check he got with a brand deal was $10,000. He spent it all on one video. He went up to a guy who was homeless. He said, here, here's 10,000 bucks. And that's how he went viral. Really? And that's what he does a lot now. He just gives people money. But now he gets them to do like crazy things for money, like stay in a room for like a month. Is it Squid Games-ish? Does he ever make people do stuff they don't want to do, but they want to do it because the money, but they really don't want to do it? Yeah, I mean, he did a whole Squid Game recreation. And do people go, he's taking advantage of them? Yeah, he gets a little flack for that of like, hey, you're taking advantage of people who are really hard up for money. But I'll do it. <laughs> but does he find people who are in need or does he just find people who want to do it just his subscribers got so it so he doesn't subscribe. got it yeah okay then i that's fine that's anybody wanting to be on anything right yeah. so okay. that's how he did it though he took ten thousand dollars and that's how he got famous basically yeah I well mean, there are already, a lot of things that he, he already did. started building the channel yeah. and everything but yes and he made the commitment to just give that money away too <laughs> yeah. thinking that that would pay off with views or clicks wow okay so that's number one what else he uses psychology to get people to watch his videos so i watched his whole podcast he did what he does he puts numbers in the titles of his youtube videos so if you see like one million written out apparently it makes you want to click and watch the video Oh, because you think a million views have happened or something? Or a million dollars. There's just something in your mind that sees a big number like that and wants to click it. But he does a lot of videos where he, like, compares the prices of things. So, like, a $1 flight versus a million dollar flight. Oh, I'd click on that. Flight? But what, what, is, like a, what does he talk air, about air regarding a dollar? There's no dollar yeah. flight. Why would I get on a dollar flight? How do you buy that? It's like a guy who has, like, a random old airplane who will take on a flight for a dollar. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. It's an awesome video. Oh, that's a real thing. It's a real thing. And wow. then he paid a million dollars to go on a flight? Yeah. Like he this, did that, too? He's giant plane, yeah. Wow, that's okay. That's so cool. Okay, yeah. and? He spends a crazy amount of money on a video. For that one I was talking about, he spent $7 million to make mm -hmm. that happen. That's crazy. How rich is this dude? Oh, I think he's so rich, right? Oh, yeah, he's worth a lot of money. Like hundreds of millions? Probably, like, 150 to 200 million. Because his YouTube channel has 200 million subscribers. That's wild. That's awesome. That's wild. All right, Mr. Beast is our first show and tell. That's good. I like that because I know much about him. Mm. That feels pretty cool. Eddie, who'd you bring? Tom Hanks, my favorite actor of course you did. in the whole wide world. Go ahead. Did you know Tom Hanks has a brother named Jim? Jim Hanks. He kind of looks like him, not really, but he sounds just like him. So he does the voice of Woody whenever they do like cartoons, not the movies. But whenever they're spin-off cartoons or the action figures, you pull the string, it's his brother. That's Jim Hanks? Yeah, it's Jim Hanks. That's funny. I think it's pretty cool. Wow. Also, too, Tom loves old vintage typewriters. He collects a lot of them. He's got over 250 typewriters. And some that he just gives out to fans when he sees them. I've seen him send typewriters to fans in the mail before. Yeah. Wow. Which is Heavy. cool. Yeah. yeah it's a, <laughs> it's a big the package. postage there. <laughs> and last in 2013, he was diagnosed with diabetes. I didn't know that. He's a diabetic. He's a type 2 diabetic, so I don't think you, like, in, right. in, do syringe or whatever, but, but still, diabetic. What, and what's your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Forrest Gump, hands down. But I do like Splash, the old one, where he falls in love with a mermaid. Mm. That's classic, I don't know that man. I've never seen that one. Oh, you should watch. Oh, I'll put that in the hat next time. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we got two, Mr. Beast and Tom oh. Hanks. Who's the celebrity, Morgan, and give us three interesting facts about him. So it's Morgan Freeman. I did it because we share the same name. He's an expert beekeeper. He has a 124-acre ranch that he dedicated as a bee sanctuary, and he loves them so much that he'll visit and bring them food, and he won't even wear a beekeeping suit. Whoa, that's oh. crazy. Yeah. Well, that's Dang, just about crazy. That, that's going to not end well, I feel, because uh -huh. it just takes one one bad day. Uh, unless he narrates something for him, I bet they the like bees that. bees would stop stinging me. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, what else? His first acting role came out of a form of punishment. So there was a girl in middle school he had a crush on, pulled the chair out from under her, and his teacher sent him to drama class as a punishment for that, and he fell in love with acting. That's wow. awesome. Wow. That's an awesome punishment. Yeah, I, I got that I got whoop of switches. <laughs> he got sent to acting class. All right, go ahead. There's a conspiracy theory around him that he was never a baby because there are no baby photos of him. Even he has come out and said, there's simply no photos of me as a baby that exist. 
Huh. That's crazy. It's weird to think of him as a young person. I can't even think of him as a young guy. I mean, I wasn't alive. I haven't seen pictures. And like, if you Google pictures of him, it's like people trying to make a Morgan Freeman baby, and they're kind of weird. Yeah, what about like even young Morgan Freeman acting? I don't know. And the baby that. cries like this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Get busy living. <laughs> I also have a bonus one that I knew you guys would love because you guys golf. He broke a golf record in South Africa, apparently at this place that has the extreme 19th. He made a par on that. And he's also known for his unique one-handed swinging in golf. Huh. I do that too when I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is your celebrity, Amy? George Strait. Give us three interesting facts. So he met his wife, Norma, in high school, and it was love at first sight. But he only took her out on one date, and then they had some separation. He was like, what? wait, he couldn't stop thinking about her. He's like, man, I'm crazy. I got to call that girl back. So he did, and then they ended up eloping, just went to Mexico. After one day? Got married. No, I mean, they got back together after the little hiatus. They went on a date, took a break, then he asked her again, and then they decided, we're going to get married. Went to Mexico, eloped because he was entering the service. He was being shipped off to Hawaii with the Army. And so they got married, and he served in the Army for four years and was part of an Army band called the Ramblin' Country. Well, you know, you know those, those guys are bitter. I was in his band before. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was the basis for George Strait when we were in the— He left and went solo. I get, I taught him everything he knows. Mm -hmm. It's got to be tough. That's got to be tough. Yeah. yeah what yeah, else you got? Yeah. And then uh, he declined an invitation to the Grand Ole Opry. And it's pretty much a commitment thing because, and Bobby, you probably know this better than I, but if you are asked to be a member and you accept, you have to perform a certain amount of times. And he wanted to live in Texas and stay there. I mean, he does things on his ranch and he do, he's roping every day. He says he tries to do that every single day. Yeah, if he were to be a member, he'd have to perform about once a month or 12 times. Sometimes Carrie will do two shows in a night. She'll park her tour bus and do two in one night. That counts as two. Mm. But members are mostly supposed to do 12 shows a year, which is probably why. Yeah, he, he couldn't meet he the expectations, so yeah. he didn't want to commit to something he couldn't do. All right. Is that it? Yeah, those are my facts. All right, Ray, who do you have? Ryan Seacrest. Okay. So apparently he has a sweet tooth. He loves candy and treats and sweets. And his absolute favorite is gummy bears. So maybe when he's hosting sometimes, he'll have gummy bears in his back pocket. You no, might have saw him eating some of them. No, I've never seen him okay. eating gummy bears. Uh -uh. Never. Okay, what else? He started the Kardashians' career. He had a production company back in 2007. And it's kind of when the tape came out of Kim and it was all worked together. And he, Seacrest wanted to start a show like the Osbournes because it was huge. And it was the Kardashians. He started it all. Man. Yeah. Made so much money off Whoa. of that. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. And he was actually bit by a shark. He was out in the water surfing and it happened. He maybe thought it was coral at the time, but he got on shore and he actually had a tooth in him. And that's how he knew he was bit by a shark. A wow. tooth came out of the shark. Yeah, 2008. Wow. Seacrest survived shark attack. It was a baby shark. Lost a baby tooth. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, how do you not have a big bite? Right. Point. Maybe the tooth was loose. Baby shark. Like <laughs> so, so, so. Well, it could have bit him. Like, he thought it was a rock or a coral or something. But bit him that hard that it lost yeah. a tooth? I don't know. Wow, so sharks have baby teeth. Eddie and just made that up. Teeth? No, 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 it was no. a joke it's because, a joke. like, you know how babies lose teeth. Yeah, he made that up. Don't listen. NPR is going to call us. It's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, this is a joke, man. <laughs> All right, Lunchbox, what do you got? I got Chelsea Halska. Her last name is now DeBear. She rose to fame when she appeared on 16 and Pregnant and then Teen Mom 2, guys. And let me tell you, after 10 years of Teen Mom 2, here's something crazy. She has her own show on HGTV called Down Home Fab. Excellent show. You watch it? Yes. Fantastic. Where does she live? She lives in South Dakota. Vermilion, South Dakota. Did you know that before this segment? Yep. Because of the show? Because of Teen Mom. Okay. Uh, and she launched her own home decor line called Aubrey Says and is named after her first daughter that she had when she was 16. So if you want to decorate your home with stuff from a... Teen mom line, Aubrey says. She paying you? Sounds like it. No. Never Hashtag ad? Hashtag never met her. Okay. Oh, you never met her? No. Oh. Hashtag dreams. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Down Home by DeBoers will be a storefront. They're opening. Oh, it's, it's all it's all commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. They're opening a brick and mortar in the strip mall on Baker Landing Development just west of T exit off Interstate 29. <laughs> It will be a collection of home decor. Is this hashtag ad? No, no. Hashtag never met her. It will be a collection of home decor, accent piece, ac accent pieces, and furniture with an exclusive section for Aubrey Says. The next one, Aubrey's Ice Cream. 
How you you basically flavors. just done promo for her her products. How amazing is that though? Those are some interesting. I don't even facts. know what you said. She has a whole. She was on Teen Mom, sixteen and pregnant. I know, yeah, I got that part. And then she, she got her own show. HGG TV TV yeah. show. Two G's HGG. <laughs> yeah. Then she did a home decor line called Aubrey Says, and now what would you say decor is? Like decorations. Got it. Yeah, it's just a short word for decoration. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and then they're opening a storefront. Like they are big enough that they are having a brick and mortar. Like Chip and Joanna, get out of the way. Chelsea and Cole are coming in. I don't know that it's get out of the way. Who's in Cole? Different parts Her of the husband. country. Now, got it. Yeah, yeah. She met him like later on and they got married and now they have a couple kids together. Hey, Scuba, any way you can line her up on the phone or something? Oh, boy. I'm sure or a Zoom? Right now, yeah, yeah her dad, on. he listens. Randy, he's a big fan. He's a dentist. <laughs> Randy? <laughs> Who's the Chelsea House guy? Yeah, well, it's DeBoer now. Gotcha, okay. She, has a, she has a line. It's called Aubrey. I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, she's yes. brick and mortar. Brick yeah, and, and her daughter, it's Aubrey. Up. Home decor. Her oh, da- gotcha. daughter, Aubrey, is, is like as tall as her now. Corner of Highway 71. <laughs> no, it's uh, Take a left at the rock. <laughs> it's a strip mall in the Baker Landing development just west off the T exit of Interstate 29. Uh, is she likable? <laughs> Very likable. That's cool. People love her. She has almost 9 million followers on Instagram. She has 6.7 on Instagram. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's almost nice. He just <laughs> yells. He just says stuff. <laughs> Fact yeah, check. Let me check. I'm literally He's looking, looking at, at it right at now. It. <laughs> why do you make that up? Yeah, why man? do you just say stuff? No, I read that online, man. That was one of my interesting facts. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me do mine. Am I the last one to go? <laughs> okay. My interesting facts are on David Letterman, who I watched every night, Monday through Friday night as a kid. I would sneak up and watch him. He's my hero. He's a goofy dude, super funny. And I thought, if you can be goofy, irreverent, weird like that, then if he can do that, I think I can do it. Uh, he was on the radio at first. He did radio. He did uh, local TV. He was a weatherman. He kind of got booted from his weather job when he congratulated a tropical storm into a hurricane. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> That's really funny. I like, like to like, congratulations, you grew. Yeah, yeah you, you graduated. But it's like now lives are at stake. <laughs> That's totally something we would do. Wow. <laughs> so this is like in the 70s. Um, he has a scholarship at Ball State University for average people. There's an average student, mm. like C students. He never wore the same tie twice in the entire late night run. Wow. The Foo Fighters, his favorite band, appeared in his final broadcast as well as many other broadcasts as well. He used to throw pencils all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and there'll be the crash. Because he didn't want people to get stuck or get hurt by the pencil, they made the pencils with erasers on both ends so they didn't stab anybody. Oh. Um, he had a morning TV talk show that failed miserably. They tried to do that kind of in the morning, and then it flipped, and then they did it at night. And then he's he's the dude. He's awesome. Oh. He's the dude. That's it. Um, show and tell, pretty fun, huh? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I need to get over to Third and Johnston and <laughs> off Highway Seventy. See what's yeah. up. Got some decor over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, there's yeah. show and tell. All right, thank it's, you guys. It's about